Alright, so this is Iragon again that I was contacted by the devs to um, test. And if you're wondering why it's black and white, if it comes out black and white, I'm not entirely sure right now. Um, <clears throat> this game is um, coming out in black and white because I can't use it in window ca uh, game capture. I have to use window capture, so because game capture wouldn't even be able to capture pretty much anything. Um, why is there an invisible wall here? Oh, I have to actually do this because this is a tutorial. Oh, shit. And this is for some reason like windowed uh, max screen, but it's still got the bar on the bottom because it should be bordered. So I've encountered another glitch here. So yeah, this is uh, pre-alpha footage. Um, I contacted the devs and after a couple days they decided I could do a first impression. So this isn't actually my first time playing the game, even though... Um, <coughs> I, I got talking and I could make this video for you all. Um, the voices are placed out of that's why these ones don't sound the greatest. But the text doesn't always seem right. I'm not entirely sure what's up with that, but this game seems kind of like a blend between. Um, Skyrim and like something like Attack on Titan or something. I, I do like the art style, the um, outline for everything. That's pretty strong, and I appreciate that. But you can tell that easily. My character, the protagonist that you play, is this placeholder. Are they just pitch black? I do like the shape of the sword, even though you can tell it looks kind of plastic because it's not detailed enough. Like the the shape and the hill will look pretty Who nice, but My name is Derek. it's very clearly not finished. A, a complaint a lot of people have put in is the um, lack of animations for things, so you will notice they're going to weird. I mean, that looks like the standing Skyrim jump, which was always looked awful to me. But if it looks like this is coming out a little, yeah, this will resize for the cutscene. So if it looks spot. wrong, the size. I like doesn't turn his back on someone who can help. Because it always goes into a different window, well, like boarded no, or I want to be full screen someday. or whatever. I see. Those yeah, his back just clips through. We yeah, that's, that's what I'd say is one of the major concerns. Because people just book. stare at her hard. That face looks overly animated. though. like she looks too I mad. The, I don't know. Uh, he, before he died, he told me to take it to Galados. That's almost a week from here, even in good weather. I know. Come with me back to town. Seems a bit Maybe weird that there's no candles that are lit. Thank you. Um, my name is Anna, by the way. We have to go now. Oh, this is the weird bit to me. You're saying we have to go now. And then it's only me, like Sir, she's not here. It's like, what, did I just ditch her? She's just the back there with them. They won't get far in the snow. She ran ahead. Split up. You two go out. She ran ahead. Her off. Oh, okay. That bitch. If I catch her, so, in other words, she's just super fast or something? Because I never entirely pay attention to that. But here's some further complaint um, coming up that you can see. So if the, it looks kind of wonky or slow or hell laggy, that's because of the actual recording software that I'm using that um, takes up 30% CPU from the fucking computer. But yeah, a big complaint that people gave was for this grappling, oh shit. Yeah, you can see my complaints coming up here where, where you can just see the end of the earth and shit. Um, now you can sprint even though I didn't tell you in the tutorial. <laughs> But yeah, this is pre-alpha, so you know, you, you can't expect a couple of bugs like these to come on. It's weird how they list it as a demo, but I guess they just called it that because so many people are playing. But yeah, you can see with the reticle, it looks like a shooter, first person shooter one, as, or not, sorry, third person. Which, to me, is kind of a minor complaint, I'm like, yeah, that, that seems fine to me. Oh wow, that Skybox actually has a bit more detail to it than I thought, multiple layered JPEGs. That's nice, but they're not really moving, which is a thing that I don't like about the skyboxes. I mean, they look pretty, but hmm. 
But yeah, something that really annoys me is green means go and red means stop, right? So go usually, so it being green generally suggests to me that like, oh, I can shoot all the way to that rock and hit it, but no, you can't. As well, the control being tab is really weird. You, you think it'd just be le uh, right click because left click is to attack with your weapon. So right click just being aim to shoot would just make a lot of sense. But annoys me is you can hold tab to aim and then you let go you sling a shoot right but if i hold tab to aim again he lets go of my fucking my hook like i did just then i didn't shoot it out so i can't plan my next shot when i'm still mid-air as well i don't know if that's intentional or not but i don't die i just immediately respawn here i mean it's like a halo game but then again halo still does have a death so it's like you know don't know if that's intentional again but i don't know if they're going to change it whether it's like some teleportation thing or what but or if they will actually add in a full death thing with a fucking death game over screen or what but personally i prefer the death screen with the game over because they said it wasn't a fucking fuck okay, come on I really want him to be able to double jump just so I can get over these bloody fences and shit. This will be a game I have to cut quite a bit. Hang on. <laughs> this is a, <clears throat> a minor complaint, but to, to do an easy fix for this one, you can just add a rooftop to this. Now, a lot of people complain that it's like, it's really weird that like, it's just following rocks you have to shoot to till you get to the next platform. Um, if we got a little explanation as to that, or maybe like just something underneath it that was like maybe ice cold water that when you touch you just freeze to death or something, that would just you know be a, enough detail for me and maybe just do something to hide that. I don't care if it's mountain tops or whatever, just something to to hide the models around the sides of it. It would also stop you from trying to get over to them because I've tried to get over to those ones a couple times, even though you actually can't. But, you know. Yeah, the slingshot has a couple of its own complaints too. Which I'll see if I can point out here. Oh wow, oh shit. Wait. <laughs> Um, okay, all right, rocks look more camo-y than snowy here. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, that's a, um, a new bug I gotta send in. But yeah, you can notice the, um, the arrow kind of jitters around, but it doesn't really, oh wait, no, it's staying in place there. What happens if I move forward? <sighs> <laughs> I'm gonna send this in, but I almost don't want him to fix it just because I find this hilarious. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh god. The arrow's just completely skitzing out to like this, you know, the slinger, whatever the fuck. <laughs> it's weird because in VR he has a slinger on both hands, but in this he only is in, on his right hand. Oh my fucking god, that's... If I walk sideways, or... Oh, it's only back and forward with it. <laughs> what if I jump? Ah, oh, jumping, just cancel it, okay. Alright, funsies over. Oh, oh, can I, can I make it? You can see the line just bouncing back and forth too, like, holy shit, that's... The grappling hook needs a lot of work, because it does seem like it's more of a focus of this, because I, I don't even get anyone to fight in this demo. That's weird, I can't hear him. Usually you can hear him from this. But the interesting thing here, I'm amazed that I could do this again, because I re had to record this one twice. And yeah, I know this isn't the first time I'm playing, so it's not technically a first impressions, but... You know, whatever. But yeah, they actually modeled out each branch, which I find really surprising because I thought they would only model the base as like a pole like um for the skeletal 
model of it where with a collision hitboxes. So I didn't think you would be able to get stuck on the trees and jump from branch to branch. There's not much reason to you, you know, like more likely to land in a tree. That's a rare coincidence, but whatever. Details I guess. Are pretty nice. I do like as well with the level design, even though it's quite clunky in other areas like with this shit. You know, like that's quite clunky. Like they have kept in mind a lot of subtle small ideas like just this small lighting of these little lanterns lighting the path just like that which is really good for just navigation like you won't get lost in this game you know like that that's really good to me because in these sort of games it's some of the most frustrating shit is just not knowing where the fuck i'm meant to go and i don't need a waypoint marker to to work it out which is really fucking good I mean, level design, essentially, if you know if it's good or bad, is do you get lost? Yeah, but this is an annoying bit of it. Is you respawn all the fuck back here? I'm still hearing the sound of me swinging through the air. There's no sound of me colliding to the ground when, whenever I land, which is one of my big complaints. But, as well as something that makes me think of Crash, hang on. I'll show you. When generally you're going to be platforming in this state, not when you got your weapon out. And it's kind of minor, because so many different games like Crash, like big platformers and shit, still do this. But it's just frustrating, it's like, it's hard to judge, especially when you have your weapon out and you do this. It's like, where, where's actual, fuck, I don't want to look up his penis. Yeah, where's, where actually is the spot that counts for my feet right now? These are my actual feet are hanging off nothing. <laughs> so I, uh, you know, that always bothers me. Another thing that I pointed out is a bug, which I'm sure that's because it's one of the bigger ones, is just that you can move forward and backwards while you're getting your attack, which just looks bizarre as hell. Is that text box gonna stay? That's another glitch. But yeah, you, you expect a lot of glitches during these things, so I'm not going to bash it too hard. We don't know it's pre-alpha. It's weird that they call it a demo. Oh, fuck. But yeah, they got more fucking testers than they do developers, because they've only got like a, a team of 11 people, which also includes the marketing staff. And then the, the testers, they have like 39 people. Which, some of them are only really working on previous games or something like that, some shit. Oh my god. It's really hard to identify where's the... Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, fuck. I think it's dragging me the fuck down right now, actually. Jesus Christ, what's happening to my arrow? <laughs> it was dragging me down, what the fuck? Some shit seriously going down here. But yeah, no mind, because you might have been able to tell, so my audio quality should sound better. But yeah, as well, without something for me to hit before I fucking spawn out, it's really hard to tell where the, the fail state is on the ground. I got you now. But yeah, I like that little ending. But not the cutscene, because the cutscene seems creepy. <laughs> The actual jump. I do appreciate the little thank you there. Even though it's not needed and may come off as insincere, depending on how many times they say thank you and that shit. But, but yeah, that was the Eurogon pre alpha or test demo. You know, the game's not out yet, obviously. I don't know when it's coming out. 
apparently they're gonna put in at least another six months or so for it. More information my, as to my regards to what I'm doing with the game may or may not be revealed later in time, depending on where things go. It's an alright game, hopefully they polish and fix up a couple bugs here and there and add a couple more animations and sounds to make it just that much better. It's going to be a four hour game so hopefully it's it's going to be quite polished and shit. Yeah so far I like the game. I'm curious to see what you all think is the worst thing in it, what the biggest issue is, whether you think it's the like animation or sounds of the crapper hook or, or what but now there's a pretty meme, exquisite.